what's up guys and this is Shouts Creed 2 here again bring you a juggernaut gameplay and commentary uh it is 8.54 am and I haven't freaking sleep so I'm really tired but I have to get this gameplay back into another one as well as, well, I need to get two to get rid of those two more after One of them is infected, but I kept that one because it was against my friends, too. And we played infected, I was so proud of myself to get it against them. And the other one was in a free fall, but I called it as it right went as it detonated before the wave could hit anything. An attack helicopter took the kill. So, if I see, well, at least I called it. So, I wanted everybody to see it, see that epic fail. So, anyway, uh, basically, I should have been finished these videos, but I got so caught up in playing Naruto Storm Generations and whatnot. I've even been writing a little story on one of my favorite sites and I had even fucked with it yet. <clears throat> because I've been playing it for some generations and that game is very freaking awesome. I think the I think Cyber Connect did do it on the game. I'm actually proud. Um I think the thing about I'm not going to talk too much about the game, even though I want to, but I'm not going to, I want to talk about something else that I think should be mentioned, and that's about the support streets. Support packages isn't really all that bad. I mean, it, it will help the people that sell get better, like they help out the team. I mean, sure it sucks getting hit by a stun bomb all the time, or you just constantly hear UAV spawning and all that. But it's only good if people use the support package for helpful reason. Like I don't mean if I use support, I don't put on the UAV. I don't need to because most of the time my team already knows where they're gonna spawn. And they know they just rely on the individual, they don't rely on the map that much. So, what I do is I normally put on the ballistic vest, because we always take those. It always comes in handy. Uh, I put on ballistic vest, I put on a sand turret. That way I can use it to take out flares on powerful kill streaks. And after that, I can use my skin and proceed to shoot it down. Another good thing, another one I put is uh, the EMP just in case. Now, sometimes I will blow off the EMP for recon zone because that, I'd rather use that as my EMP. And normally, I would have, a, I would have like one of my friends like combine. With me and everything, like, I call in my recon drone, and as I'm tagging him, he'll call in an advanced EAP. We actually know a lot, we never tried that dude. But, anyway, uh, I don't know, I've never really seen what happened if you call in the advanced EAP and people are get being tagged by recon drone. If that tactic really works, we can actually recreate the Blackbird. And it's not just any Blackbird, it's, it's a, like a super Blackbird. <laughs> because you can just like, uh, I mean the person's gonna stay on the map for a while. Longer than a regular Blackbird. But the eventually V won't stay up long. So it's still like a regular blackbird, but except it's like the blackbird is weaker. You don't start shooting shots, but once you're in a position. So it's. 
Unless oh, somebody else calls in the advanced UAV. So, I'm probably should test that out since I now just talked about it. Or if somebody else already tried it, then cool, I would like to know if that actually works. If that actually works, I may just persuade our friends to try that so we can have our black baby bag. But, um, yeah, the support fishery isn't, the support package isn't bad. I mean, the stealth bomber, I really do dislike the stealth bomber. Being used, like, like, three times a match. I mean, I don't mind it being on the support is good. I don't like seeing a stealth bomber, like, like, five times in a match. And I've gotten to a match where there was just stealth bombers all the time. I mean, yeah, we were calling a stealth. There was even a time where they called in three stealth bombers. And they just. They actually traveled in a line. I mean, they covered half of the map. I mean, really. I never got hit, but I just watched it unfold. I mean, I was actually, I was almost glad I was inside my roof and in a city street. It was a nice, pretty, it was a pretty cool view too. It was three stealth bombers going in a line, but they was, but they were split up. I thought it was cool. But that's the end of the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it, especially that time where I took down all of these and threw back the frag, so. Yep.